Today we're going to start the demolition on the final two buildings that are located in the Poplar Creek area. It's K631 and K131. I call it the first of the last. This is the first bite of the last of the Poplar Creek facilities and the last of the gaseous diffusion support facilities at ETTP. These two buildings were used in the Manhattan Project to bring fuels and other materials into the gaseous diffusion process. It fed all of the big five buildings that we had. In the D&D &D business, the demolition is the tail end of the, of the process. The challenges that we faced up to this point are in the deactivation. These two Poplar Creek facilities in particular have been two of the toughest buildings that we've had to deactivate so far. Deactivation is the process that takes several months or years in advance of what we're going to see today, which is the demolition. Now that we've gotten all that taken care of, Today we're going to be starting the final demolition. That means tearing the building down. We'll be doing size reduction on the steel beams, the concrete floors, and taking that for disposal at our local disposal facility. Once these two facilities are gone, we will then come back and perform some remedial action work. It is a huge, huge hurdle for UCOR and for our customer to get rid of this hazard to the workers, to the environment, and turn it back over to the community for reindustrialization. I'm so proud of the UCOR team of the DOE team, of the craft, of the teaming arrangement that we've got going at this site. And that's led to our success and is going to lead to our 2020 vision success as well.